Hey, it's Johnny from Smokey Q. So today we're going to be doing tri-tips on the Gorilla Grills Silverback. So stay tuned. Let's get cooking. Okay, so I'm back. So what I have here is a tri-tip that I got from Costco. It's got some fat on it that I need to get rid of and some silver skin that I need to get off of it. So let's start trimming her up and get it to go. So I'm not gonna take too much off. I just wanna get this excess fat and this silver skin off of here. And you just wanna do this ever so gently, especially on the silver skin. Just kind of slide your knife under, but not too deep. And then you just take the silver skin off like that. Um, this is a new knife to me. This is a Vitorinox knife and they're the people that made Swiss Army knives or make the Swiss Army knives. Um, so I'll put a link in the description for it. Um, but tonight we are having a dinner with the priest from my church and his mother that just came in from Mississippi, so that's why I'm trimming this up. I probably won't take all of it off. I'll just take some off. When you have a lot of the silver skin on, it ends up being like a rubber band. Um, so the more silver skin you get off, the better off you'll be. And these tri-tips from Costco are pretty nice. They, um, they've got a fair amount of marbling going through them, so they should be pretty tender. So, yeah, tri-tips are absolutely, hands down, one of my favorite things to cook next to briskets and turkey. So let me finish trimming up the uh, the tri-tip. I've got brisket on my mind, I don't know why, but I do. But let me finish trimming up the tri-tip and I'll be back when we start seasoning her up. All right, so I got the tri-tip pretty much trimmed down, took as much fat off as I wanted to and got enough of the silver skin off. So now I'm gonna go ahead and season it up. For today's seasoning, we're using the Pappy seasoning and this is actually uh, good seasoning for tri-tip. They do do a rub just for Santa Maria tri-tip rub. They have one of those. So I'm uh, not going to go too, too heavy on the seasonings on the rub today. I'm going to keep it pretty light. Just make sure I pat it in and get it through all the way. get those edges so there's two different ways you can do tri-tip you can do it like a regular tri-tip where you get to about medium to medium well and then slice it and serve it that way or you can do it brisket style as some people do uh, and today I'm gonna take it the traditional way where I'm gonna cook it and then pull it off of at about 150 to 155 degrees and then let it rest for a few minutes and slice it up. So we're all seasoned up. Let me go get the pit started and I'll be back with you. All right, so we're back. We're gonna throw the tri-tip on the silverback. We're gonna let it sit on there for a little bit and cook. 
this is one of the side dishes for tonight so I'll show you guys that later on uh, when I pull this thing off I'll bring you guys back and show you what it looks like uh, when it's done all right so I'm out at the silver back and this thing is hit 160 so I'm gonna pull it off the grill now and I'm gonna let it rest for about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna cut into it and see what kind of deliciousness we have from here so I'll see you guys in a few So the tri-tip came out and it was a nice medium, I would say. It was nice and tender, uh, juicy. Uh, it was wonderful. It took me about two hours to cook it. I did it nice and low and slow. Um, so you guys, I'll give it a try. Um, I will put the link for the knife in the description. So this is Johnny from Smokey Q. I'll see you later.